This is Anthony Priscilla doing some business math with my business math class, Math 1324. And we're doing some financial math today and uh, doing a little retirement planning problem here. A woman with her employees, employer's matching program contributes $400 at the end of each month to her retirement account, which earns 7% interest compounded monthly. When she retires after 49 years, oh wow, it's highly unusual to have one person save for retirement the exact same amount every month for 49 years, but the problem doesn't want to be too difficult, and if it were changing those payments, then it would be much more involved. So we're assuming 49, uh, 49 years she's working, saving $400 at the end of each month. Now, once she retires after the 49 years, she wants to make monthly withdrawals for 29 years. So, what she's going to do after 29 years when her money runs out, who knows. But, um, it says her account earns 6% interest compounded monthly. So, when she retires, what's her maximum possible monthly withdrawal without running out of money? She wants to get a monthly check sort of like a paycheck, but um, let's see. I'm going to do this. This is going to take up two, um, and magnify this, and move it more center like that. And this timeline here, there's going to be two parts to it. For the first 49 years, the lady's just saving and saving. This is the 49-year period where she's saving her money. She's saving, how much did it say? $400 a month for 49 years. The interest is 7% compounded monthly. Then, after the 49 years of working, she wants to retire and she wants to take out money. So this is for, let's see, what is this? This is a, what, a 78 year timeline here. Over the 78 years, she starts with a zero and then she starts saving $400 a month for 49, <laughs> for 49 years. That's sort of uh, funny. But, um, after the for working and saving for 49 years, she's going to retire, live the nice life, and withdraw money. At the end of the 78 years, how much money should she have in this uh, retirement fund? At the end. Zero. But, yeah, zero. She started with zero, saved for 49 years, then she starts spending it. And at the end of the 78 years, she's got zero dollars. Well, this first part of the timeline, how much did she begin with here in the account? Zero. Zero. So as she's saving for retirement, is that an annuity? What do y'all think? Yes. Yeah, it's an annuity. It certainly is. So which formula? Are we looking at a present value or a future value here? future value. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting y'all to get that. So so uh, this is going to be a future value of an ordinary annuity. And that formula S equals R times 1 plus I to the N R times 1 plus I to the N over I. Oh, we haven't written that formula up today, but it's the one we had been using. So we're going to use the future value of an ordinary annuity to calculate what part of the timeline. What's that going to give us on here? Right here, that's going to give us that future value of the red timeline. Okay, that middle point there. So R is, let's write it out, R is 400. What's I? I would be 
seven point zero seven over twelve. Let's see. It's not going to be a. I don't see my calculator. Oh, here it is. Point zero seven over twelve is not. Okay, it doesn't terminate, so we'll just leave it as 0 0.07 over 12. Now, what about n? What two numbers will we multiply to get n? 49 and 12. Okay, so 49 years, 12 months per year, 49 times 12 is 588. Wow, she's going to be saving four, $400 a month for 588 months. Wow. So plugging in S equals R times one plus I to the N minus one all over I. Now, I'm going to punch this into my calculator, and you'll get a little bit of a glare, but it usually looks pretty good with the finished product. Ooh, I'm going to punch this into my calculator. Let me clear all of that. I'm going to do the... Maybe if I move it like this, is this any better? Can y'all sort of see it or not? because it's this projector that sort of makes it hard to see. The camera's recording it really good, so when you see the video, it'll look better than this. But, okay, I'm going to turn it on and start going. Parentheses. days when it sure doesn't look any good, does it? What if I turn on the lamp? Mm -hmm. Well, I may as well just start punching it in. Okay. This will be your chance to punch in and see if you can get it. 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 12. Close parentheses. Raised to the 588 power. Oh, ooh. Raised to the 588 power, then a minus 1, divided by parentheses 0 0.07 over 12. Ty this is where we've been multiplied by 4,000, oh, excuse me, by 400. So, oh, hey, that's visible. Sounds so stupid in the video because it's all visible in the video, and I'm just saying, oh, it's hard to see. It's hard to see if any of you looked at any. Oh no, I put four thousand. So really, there. Oh, okay, J since there was one extra zero, I need to move the decimal point over one. So we have two. Oh wow, we she have is. A lot of money. Yeah, she really saved a lot of money. I figured you got to think of this as maybe the boss, the company's, whoever owns this business that she's working for, it's her son. And so he set his mother up with a nice little job. 0 0.494, so we'll say 0 0.49. So at the end of the 49 years this lady she's been working and saving her money at her boss at her son's company uh two million twenty seven thousand six hundred eighty nine dollars and forty nine cents that's how much money she has is that what y'all got i know you couldn't see me punching in but is that those of you that did punch in is that the number you got the two million twenty seven thousand so now we're ready to move on into the green timeline. This is when she's retired and living the nice life, taking the money out. Well, 
that formula will be used now for the green timeline. Right here we have 2,027,689 dollars and 49 cents. Well, so looking just at this portion of the timeline, is this a present value or a future value problem? Mm -hmm. Present value. You know, looking at the green timeline, what's the future value of this account going to be? Zero. You know that. Doesn't the word problem say something about her not running out of money? Like, to do it, to solve Oh, wait, it. she doesn't run, want to run out until, before uh, the 29 years, okay? Which is a way of saying she's going to have zero at the end. They want you to say, it also says what's the maximum amount but to maximum possible monthly withdrawal. They don't want you to say, well, if she only takes out $1 a month, she won't run out of money, okay? They want to know the largest amount she can take out and still not run out until the 29 years is over, okay? So this is a present value. That's the new formula that we, well, by new, I mean new to y'all. It's not new to the world. So P equals one minus one plus I to the negative N all over I. So uh, the present value P is that two million dollars that's there in the account. Two million twenty-seven thousand six hundred eighty-nine dollars and forty-nine cents. Now, does the interest rate change? I don't think it does. So I stays the same, 0 0.07 over 12, but what about N? Hmm? Yeah, it's really oh, it does? Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, that's going to make it easier. The interest rate does fall down to 6% instead of 7%. Thanks for pointing that out. So this 7 there should be a 6. And I'm going to go ahead and write a decimal for that. 0 0.06 divided by 12 would be 0 0.005. Oh, and I haven't found n. So what two numbers am I going to multiply to get n? 29 times 12. The total number of months here. Let's see, 29 times 12, well, that would be 30 times 12 minus 12, 360, excuse me, 348, 360 minus 12. So now plug it in. P equals, oh, not P, 2,027,689 dollars 49 equals R times 1 minus, see the 1 plus I I can just add in my head, 1.005 to the negative N all over I. So let me see I'll the black calculator that you can't see the screen on. 1 1 minus 1.005 raised to the negative 348. Okay. Oh. Mm. Then divided by 0 0.005. So we have 164.74 something or another and then to get R we're going to divide the 2,027,689 here it goes 2,027,689 oh, dollars and 49 cents divided by second AMS Twelve thousand three hundred eight dollars and seventeen cents. 
So she worked a lot, saved a lot, and those $400 a month payments for 49 years, she's now going to get to withdraw $12,308.17 a month for 29 years. And at the end of the 29 years, well, maybe she will have saved some more of this. Who knows? She might have some other retirement accounts waiting out there. But, uh... Are, are, are taxes taken out of that? Hmm? Like, are taxes and stuff taken out of that? Oh, uh, well, if, if this money was before tax, then yeah, she'll have to pay income tax on it, okay? But she should be over 65, so that gets a little break there. Uh, if this were something like a Roth IRA, which is after tax dollars, then no, okay? But she should, she does have to pay payroll tax, of uh, the Social Security, okay? But uh, if it's before tax dollars, then she would have to pay income tax on it. But if it's a Roth IRA after tax dollars, then no. And she doesn't have to pay tax at all on it. Okay? But we'll continue our discussion of all of this the next time. Y'all have a good weekend.